Brooker is the only company in the world that does NMR and mass spectrometry, which is what you need to run a phenome sensor. And it's great to work with both divisions of the company because it streamlines the process and makes it more efficient. And also, through a lot of the work that we do, is called data fusion, where we're mixing different data types mathematically. And of course, that helps enormously with having one company that is, is your main mass spec provider and is your NMR provider because that helps us work with them from a software point of view so that we can do data fusion and hybrid NMR and mass spec models. In fact, our first paper that we published on COVID-19 back in August, which has now had I think 11,000 downloads, uh, is an NMR mass spec fusion project, um, which has worked incredibly well. We've been working closely with Brooker, both the Biospin, which is the NMR division, and Brooker Daltonics, which is the mass spec division, for trying to optimise and develop new diagnostic tests for COVID-19. The first one that we've, that we've really developed to a high level is an, a nuclear magnetic resonance-based test for phenoconversion, which is a quite an ingenious combination of NMR pulse sequences, which means we, we select molecules not just for their concentration, how much is there, but also their molecular dynamics. So NMR can tell you things about rotations of molecule uh, through space translation. This is something that separates it out from almost all other analytical technologies. So we've used a combination of experiments in order to select out molecular subcompartments in the blood plasma of patients which are particularly diagnostic for COVID-19 over, for instance, other respiratory diseases. And we thought that this was novel enough that it was worthy of a, of a patent and we have, with Brooker filed a, a US patent with the idea of developing that further and putting it into up to regulatory standards and be able to use it as a what we call an orthogonal test for uh, COVID-19 positivity. But beyond that, you can use the same technology to monitor the recovery because these parameters that are abnormal during the acute disease should recover when you get better. So I think that one of the other applications of that patent will be in long-term COVID-19 recovery monitoring. We are working um, now with Brooker to improve the technology through our international alliance partners, the International Phenome Centre Network. We've now taken these experiments we developed in the labs here and we've now moved it into other laboratories so we can do into the laboratory conversions which again from a regulatory point of view are really important. What we want is the fastest, cheapest, most cost effective and most sensitive and specific. So we're working on that. So our research into COVID-19, obviously that is the world's biggest problem at the moment. That, so that is our primary focus. But the techniques that we're developing could be applied to a lot of other diseases as well. So there is an added value of studying COVID-19. There will be a massive number of spin-outs of COVID-19 research that impact on our ability to do diagnostics in the future. There are loads of other emergent zoonotic threats. At least 30 of those have emerged in the last 30 years. COVID-19 is the only one that's really had an absolutely global impact so far, but there's potentially hundreds of others in the wings that are waiting to get into our society. And we need technologies and approaches that can deal with it. It's part of biological preparedness.